bum, 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 bum. Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I'm the old school games mom, and somebody's got to do it. So today we're going to be talking about uh, them jiggly physics. Uh, now, if you followed one of my previous videos and you have your jiggly physics set up, you might notice that, you know, things jiggle when you place them in an animation or when you, you know, shake them around in your, in your, in your physics setup. If you haven't set up your jiggly physics straight up yet, I have a previous video for that. Search around my channel, search for jiggly physics, you'll find it. Um, but what you may notice if you're trying to animate your character is that initially you don't, you, you, your, your jiggly physics don't work. Um, now there is a way to get your <laughs> jiggly physics jiggling. There's a couple little settings, right? Um, in order to get your blueprinted character, your, your, um, you know, playable character, yeah, working with, with your jiggly physics skeletal mesh or physics asset. So let's take a look at the couple little tweaks that you need to do in order to make that happen. Now I have family friendly mode on. That's why we're looking at wireframe mesh here. I'd like to monetize this channel one day and I have just way too many boobs uh, on this channel for this particular topic. So um, yeah, anyway, um, blah, 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 blah. there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do. Number one, the capsule component uh, could potentially interfere with your skeletal mesh. And that is because the capsule component is a uh, potentially a collidable object. So what I have done with my capsule component is I actually just made a little, little, little tiny capsule component right around the feet, right around the footy foot foot area. Is that the best spot for it? I don't know. Do I have that lined up quite right? Oops, oh no, oh no, family friendly mode, <laughs> re-engaged. Well, yeah, I actually might be up a little bit, so up a little bit off the ground. So you may have to adjust your capsule position so that it, uh, the, so that the bottom of the capsule basically aligns to where your feet are uh, touching the ground. Now, first off, you're gonna wanna probably do like what I did here, which is set your, your capsule half, half height and capsule radius to 10 and 10. It just makes it a tiny little, um, tiny little, tiny little, um, Mm -hmm. Spear, yes, and then we're going to switch over to uh, left view, bum bum bow, and we're going to adjust where the mesh location begins because you can't adjust where the um, capsule location begins. Begins, so you just have to adjust where the mesh location begins. And you kind of want to make it where the bottom of the collider is because the collider is where the character can't go any further through the ground. So that should be a little bit better for me. Uh, adjust as needed. Uh, that, sh that should work, but if it doesn't, well, just adjust as needed. Now, the other most very important and sort of weird thing, I guess not weird if you understand how it all works, but uh, I, you know, there's a lot of moving components on Unreal and, and uh, well, it's hard to, under hard to know what everything does. Anyway, uh, you're going to need to adjust your mesh character. All right, so now if you have done, I'm just going to show you the settings you're going to need to put these on, actually. That'll be easier. Scroll on down until you find uh the collision section uh, now by default when you have your well, there is a sorry i just a little bit of video editing there all right so by default where you have your collision usually when you bring in your skeletal mesh your collision will be set to no collision all right so if we hop into a game here whoop, friendly friendly mode engage uh oh, what am i doing there we go uh you can see here there's no jiggle right no jiggle on that um so all you really need to do, in addition to the capsule component, which will cause some weirdness if the collision is enabled, it'll bump up against your uh, physics collider and cause deformation of all sorts of weirdness. So what I do is, like I say, I just make my box, my my capsule component small, but if you don't want it small for whatever reason, you can probably just adjust the uh, collision channels on the skeletal mesh and your your capsule collider um that would probably not be another way anyway so let me show you guys uh, all you need to do is come on down to um, collision presets change it over to pawn so if you're not working just change it over to pawn and whoops family friendly mode and now you should have some jiggle right now you can see the jiggle bum, 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 bum. now there could be brought into question that that is a little bit too much jiggle um but you're gonna have to figure that out the reason also that um I have chosen to uh, actually have a small capsule component that doesn't collide and instead made my, my character mesh uh, um, uh, where is it? Uh, a pawn that uh, collides with uh, blocks everything. And so the reason I've done it this way is to create more whoops, precise uh, collision detection, right? 
So I, in this case, uh, you can see instead of the capsule component colliding, I can actually get close enough here. Oh God, this is becoming this is becoming something else. I can get close enough here that the actual interaction of the physics object <laughs> is is interacting, right? Um, yeah. Anyway, before this video gets flagged, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut it off there. Uh, but in case you want to have like precise uh, physical interaction, you want to make sure that it is your physics body that's you know basically interacting with. And this also comes into uh, apply uh, into play when you attach hair. When you attach hair, like groom hair, if you're using groom hair and you attach like physics hair onto your your character, you don't want that uh, collision object interfering with the groom hair. You want it to precisely follow. Anyway, that's a whole other video that I have talked about on this channel. But uh, this is a fix mainly because, yeah, I, I have figured this out before multiple times. I always forget how to do it. So I'm making a video for future me and anybody else who needs help on how the heck to fix this simple little thing, but can be quite frustrating if you're not sure what's going on. All right.